Yo, what's going on, everybody? My name is Fury SFX, and I'm gonna show you how to play Battlefield's new Hazard Zone. So it officially launches this November 19th on Friday, but I got the Ultimate Edition in anticipation of the new Hazard Zone coming out. I like Conquest and Rush, but Hazard Zone has me hooked, and I play 10 hours straight on the first day. So here's how to win in Hazard Zone and what you need to know in order to play it right. At the very beginning of the game, before you even go in there, it's going to show you your beginning starting point. It does this so you can kind of get a, a team basis of where you want to go and what data drives you want to attack first and to look out for other enemy squads. The main objective is to get data drives, which I just talked about, but there's also some supply drops that you should know about. One of them being uh, for reinforcements to come in. The second one's being for the Fido dog to come in. I call him Fido, just deal with it. And the third one is to have a vehicle drop. Now this vehicle can be customized in your loadout. So at the very beginning of the game, there's a bunch of data drives. These do not show up on the map. So you need to know where you're going beforehand. To do that, make sure someone in your group has a scanner. Now throughout the game, more data drives will start crashing down through the satellite and you can find those on the map itself. It shows like a little satellite thing. You just run over to it and those actually have three data drives inside of them. Each player at the very beginning can only carry three data drives. Now you can buy some extra storage spaces, but if this is your first time being in hazard zone, you don't really want to waste your money on that kind of thing. To win this game, you need to successfully extract. You can have data drives with you or not, but if you have data drives with you, you get a lot more money. There's only two chances to extract. You got one and you got two. The first one comes in about like three, four minutes into the game and it will not show its location until the countdown timer reaches four. It's the same thing for the second extract point. If you want my suggestion, if you're new, go to that first extraction point because a lot of teams are going for more data drives. So they're gonna try and hit that second extraction point, which makes it a lot harder to get out there. And there's gonna be AI there. So don't think you're just gonna show up for extraction and get the hell out. You're gonna have to fight some AI to get that. Oh, time out. Just wanna say, make sure you drop a like and hit that subscribe button if you're getting help right now from the Hazard Zone videos. And I do have a lot more coming along the way. So you don't wanna miss anything, hit the subscribe button. Okay, back to that. Uh, regularly scheduled program. So as I said before, you can extract and everything like that, but you get more money based on the data drives you collect. Now you can also get money based on doing some call in some call outs, calling in supply drops, reviving uh, friendlies, and even taking down some enemies. And you can actually buy some little equipment things that help you get more of those as well. But you also need to know is if you buy a loadout and you take it out there and you successfully extract, you do not keep that loadout. This is not escape from Tarkov. You have to rebuy everything. So make sure you plan accordingly and not go out there and spend all your money thinking, oh, I'm gonna be able to bring this back. You're not going to. So make sure you go all out with your equipment and come back with some money. Let's say two teammates extract and you don't make it. Well, with this game, you might be successful because I think it's a glitch, but ultimately you're not gonna be able to get the points to carry on more. So whenever you start at the very beginning of the game, you'll see a big zero next to your name. That is how many times you've extracted successfully. The more you go, the more perks that you get to bring with you. So if, if it's at zero, you only get one perk. If it's at one, you get two perks. And if it's at two, you obviously get three perks. And that's that's the max out there. It also decreases the amount of you have to spend on your equipment and weapons the more times you extract successfully in a row. And also you need to know is if let's say you're Sundance for one game and you successfully extracted two times in a row and then you wanna change over to like Dozier or something, which I don't know why you would wanna do that, you don't carry over your extractions in a row. It actually cancels out and you have to restart over. Now you still have the ones with Sundance still there, but your perks and everything, you can only have one perk with Dozier if you had to restart. That is how to play hazard zone and how to ultimately win if it was up to me i would take it a little bit slow get used to the game get used to the game mode and have some fun with it make sure you bring some cash my name is fury sfx and don't be afraid to come check out the stream on twitch.tv slash fury sfx and i'll see you on the battlefield